Though I never knew you at all, you had the grace to hold yourself But those around you crawled They crawled out of the woodwork And they whispered into your brain They set you on the treadmill And they made you change your name And it seems to me you lived your life Like a candle in the wind Never fading with the sunset When the rain set in And I would have liked to know you But I was just a kid Your candle burned out long before Your legend ever did Loneliness was tough, the toughest road you ever claimed Hollywood created a superstar, and pain was the price you paid And even when you died, oh the press still hounded you All the papers had to say was that Marilyn was found in the news And it seems to me you lived your life like a candle in the wind Never fading with the sunset when the rain set in And I would have liked to know you, but I was just a kid A candle burned out long before a legend never did From the young man in the 22nd row Who sees you as more than sexual More than just our Marilyn Monroe And it seems to me You lived your life like a candle in the wind Never fading with the sunset When the rain set in And I would have liked to know you Oh, I was just a kid Candle burned out long before A legend never did Candle burned out long before A legend never did Love this song. 
only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight You always made my troubles feel so Catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Well, God just took the only one I know So I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again but until then God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside of me and I will hold on tight it's not my place to quit only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah Hallelujah
quietly But all the answers disappear Is it too late? Are you too far gone to stay? Distance forever Should never have to go away What will I do? You know I'm only half without you Clapping her hands 
and started cheering and still haven't stopped and you held me when i came home crying cause someone said something that just wasn't true i always say that janelle was my best friend but really it's always been you I September I still can't believe I have kids of my own I look in their eyes and I can't help but wonder who will they be when they're grown I know it won't always be easy I hope I can love like you do cause I I had a mother like you Song, praising my Savior. 
rest I and my Savior am happy and blessed Watching and waiting, looking above Filled with His goodness, lost in His love Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Can I have the readers, those who are doing the first reading and the second reading, get to know the page that you have the reading. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Anne's Parish. We are here today. Can we have a little less noise in the church, please? We are here today to celebrate the life of a vibrant lady, Miss Patricia Lista Robinson, who has gone to meet her maker. Though she was petite in stature, she was very outgoing and jovial too. We are here to sympathize with her children and, fam and by extension, the extended family, not to criticize. We ask that you listen and pay attention and respect each other during the service and at the graveside. Please keep your phones on silent or on vibrate so as not to disturb the service. Sadly though it is, this pandemic is rapidly hitting each and every community and the country. Let us be thankful each day 
for being above ground and keeping in touch with family, friends, and loved ones. Let us remember also to follow the protocols. Keep your mask always above your nose. And remember to sanitize your hands. Let us now listen to the tribute, which will be done by the granddaughter, Aline Robinson. Death, where is thy victory? O oh, grave, where is thy sting? Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to first of all extend my gratitude to all present to honor our beloved Patricia Lister Robinson. I have been privileged to share my thoughts on behalf of the family. It is within this context I shall speak from and share of her greatness. I'm quoting exactly from Lister, Mama. Every single day growing up, this was her phrase. However, with this single dollar, everyone was fed three healthy meals every day. As we all know, profanity was the disciplinary rod for mama. We all got so used to it that even the community adopted her style. She enjoyed having her kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids all over her receiving kisses while being fed, not forgetting the lady loved her U.S. dollars. Mm. She would rather her kids, whenever a family me member visited the States, to accept the U.S. currency on her behalf instead of sending it via money transfer. I'm pretty sure Dr. Little would realize that he has lost a well-known client a good one at that. Whenever Mama had money, she would make sure she gave him a visit. I can recall Mama shouting, Aline, Aline, this was one of her favorite chorus, asking me to bring her a snack or something nice from work. And my exact response to her was, Mama, kona tuava ise munyon kilausav. Mama would reply to me, it was never a dull, a dull moment with this lady. The family gathering, the little dances she normally gave when we prepared dishes was too much. What I really enjoyed about Mama was the fact that she would fit in all activities we engage her in, no matter her age and her size. Our little dancing competitions will never be the same without her. She taught her kids and even the grandkids, how to move to country and western. I must admit, she did age like fine wine. This lady is the same lady I knew like so many years ago, and for this, I admire her. Our family inside jokes never ended. Those who promised her, promised her a mansion wearing high heels, walking over all the streets in Monrepo. But to no avail, she never got to see this. Mama was also a family person. Demanding breakfast was one of the many ways she expressed her love towards the family. No one ever left her home in return empty-handed. She constantly reminded her kids, oh yes, and even the grandkids, to stay on the right path. But as we all know, some of us took heed, and some of us just did the opposite. Regardless, I want to emphasize that this lady did a good job, a very good job, and she was so strong. Mama, we all admire you. 
It is never an easy task to capture someone in speech. As words frequently would fail us of her true essence. In this instance, they fall so far below the mark, but I feel it is almost fertile to try. So instead of going on and on, I would ask everybody seated here today to take a moment in silence and remember something about this lady. Remember something about Mama. Remember something about Lista. Remember something about Imelda Charles, like her daughter would call her. She has touched our life in so many different ways. Like Mama would say, I can remember clearly when it was my mother's funeral, when she stood right here shouting, Nupani Chika Ko, Nupani Chika Ko. Today, I have no choice <laughs> but to scream like Mama did and said, Nupani Lista Ko, Nupani Lista Ko. Mama, I want you to know that you are forever loved, forever missed, and please greet our fellow loved ones for us. May my mother welcome you to the gates of heaven. Thank you. Thank you, Alin. And this was really Miss Lisa. And you could never pass on an early morning without taking the smell of her coffee brewing every morning. Or on an afternoon when she would stew that chicken back. Yeah, she loves stewing her backs. And now we shall listen to the eulogy, which will be done by Zephrin, or Zephrinus, as most of us know him, Zephrinus Robinson. Thank you, Miss Walter. Blessings and good evening to everyone. It's very nice to see that everyone is here to sympathize with us. But <clears throat> it's not easy, it's not easy for a son to write the eulogy of his mom. But we all are practically known by Ecclesiastes 3, 1, chapter 3, verses 1 to 9. A time for morning, a time for everything. But since I have three minutes, that's what my sister told me. Make it short and spicy. I can't talk too much and I can't bring up that. But hear that. This scripture defines the vibrancy of my mother, Patricia Robinson. <laughs> it's not easy to do that, you know. Serious. It's not easy doing that. Please bear patience with me. Please. My folk, come. It's not easy. Now I'm telling you, it's not easy. All right? This scripture defines our vibrant mother, Patricia Robinson, who went by so many aliases as Lister, Mother Dawn, Mama, Imelda Charles by her family and community. Born March 19th, 1942, to the late O'Neill Chow, who was a fisherman from Prale, and Justina Felicia Robert Wilson, sorry, Wilson of Passions, raising a household of eight siblings, four sisters, my friend Ogunowe, four sisters, four brothers by a single mom. The struggle and the toughness 
will be the fabric that molds this beautiful lady character into a humble, compassionate, and loving mother. During her younger years, she met the love of her life. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew Maffrey, Elias Dodon, who would later on be the father to her surviving children, namely Ralph, Lucia, Earl, Raymond, Gillette, Mary, Albina, Zephyrin, Jamie, Reginus, and Nadej, as well as those who are deceased, Dillis, Stanley, and Lester. Be patient with me, please. Eh? You might be thinking how someone can maintain such a large household, but she had the strength, ability, and courage to shape a difference in personality and character into the best kids possible. My mom never gave up on her kids. She was known to be the discipline queen. However, the lashes on our skin was a reminder who is the boss. Abide by her rule or take the highway. She made certain that we were well fed, good, help me out, huh? got a good education and had the support and love we crave. No matter what we may think, but the truth, but the truth be told by my mom, Patricia Robinson did her best in bringing up so many of us. As the saying goes, you can raise a kid, but you can tell them path to take. As a, rem as a, rem as a member of the Cooley Town community, many of you may, may know, the unique vibrant voice which echoed through the air as you walk past her house. Many times, she would be sitting in the balcony enjoying visiting from vis visits, sorry, visits from friends, family, or strangers. She was a woman who was respected, who respected everyone. But Be it old or young, and her jokes always lighten one's face. She was a member of so many groups, namely Club 60, La Rose and Mothers and Fathers Group. I have never known my mother not to be happy. Why you all give me to do that? Hold on, my friend. I'll do it. Just stay there. My father was here. It's not easy. I have, I have never known my mom not to be happy. She enjoyed a cultural event western parties which she was always the center of attraction her cultural and her cultural heritage her cultural and heritage love you all mess me up eh? her cultural and heritage love enhanced her 
winning a few competitions. Very knowledgeable of life and one non judgmental would offer advice on things which she had experienced. Lister would give you the shit. The shit? Was he with? All right, thank you. You have, you have glasses. Lister would give you the shit of her back and did not expect you to return. Thank you, Mafo. Offering passerbys a drink of food. Her pet was a disrespectful human. Even though she would pull it up. She would always lash out her favorite phrase as a joke which my sisters and my, and my brothers you know, want me to use. Okay? And I will not use it. Or when someone got a mad. Apart from her children, her grandchildren and great-grandchildren were her world. She taught them how to dance, conduct themselves, and cook. For instance, Kizzy is a Mimi Lista, teaching, educating, and helping her win her pageant. Or oh, as many know Zane. Zane was a shadow. Visiting local seniors and, 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 and attending group events and make an And making sure Lexi got the right moves when teaching how to dance. Sadly, physically, we have lost a strong pillar. But emotionally, she will forever be embedded in the hearts she touched. When she was alive, I know for a fact, she is smiling in the casket. Why do people give me to do that? <laughs> Sorry about that, but I have to start again. Sadly, physically, we had lost a strong pillar, but emotionally, she will be forever be embedded in our hearts. She touched when she touched. I hope I never do that again in my life. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I know for a fact she is smiling in the casket because her screams will be imitated and listen carefully as she shout, as she shout her favorite phrase. Although we her kids did not tell her how often we thanked, appreciated, and loved. But she knew that we expressed ourselves differently. We love you dearly, Patricia Lister Robinson. Thank you, my sisters and brothers. But that's a tough thing. That's a tough thing. Indeed, it's not easy. And so, we are about to begin our celebration. Can the family, immediate family members, join the father at the back?
Can we all stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I bless the body of Patricia Robinson with the holy water. that recalls of her baptism, of which St. Paul writes, all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. By baptism it is buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we are united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of her baptism, Patricia Robinson put on Christ, the day of Christ's coming, may she be clothed in glory. Now we shall join in singing our entrance hymn, Carry Your Candle, page 2 in your leaflet, or page 34 in your supplementary. We are a family 
Us hearts are blazing So let's raise a candle And light up the sky Pray to our Father In the name of Jesus Make us a beacon In darkest times Carry your candle Because the helpless Deceived and poor Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers and be merciful to your daughter Patricia Robinson, whom you have called from this life. Welcome her into the company of your saints in the kingdom of light and peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. The first reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 25, verses 6 to 9. The Lord will destroy death forever. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil over all peoples and the shroud enwrapping of all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our, our God in whom we hope for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he saves us. This is the word of the Lord. In response, we shall sing Psalm 23 as I walk the path.
Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 31 to 35, and verses 37 to 39. Nothing can come between us and the love of Christ. We've God on our side. Who can be against us? Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to benefit us all, we may be certain, after, us, after such a gift, that he will not refuse anything he can give. Could anyone accuse those that God has chosen? When God acquits, could anyone condemn? Could Christ Jesus? No. He not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there, at God's right hand, he stands and pleads for us. Nothing, therefore, can come between us and, love, and the love of Christ. Even if we are troubled or worried or being persecuted or lacking of food or clothing or being threatened or even attacked. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life nor angel nor prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come. Not any power or height or depth, nor any creature, sorry, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Let us all stand as we acclaim the gospel. My Father's will, says the Lord, that whoever believes in the Son shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If it were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, 
I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers, family members, friends and well-wishers, the family of Robinson, the children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, to all of you my condolence and sympathies. Today as you, we are celebrating your mother, your grandmother, your aunt, your grand-aunt, life. As you have heard it in the tributes and the eulogies, all good things about her, all who she was in her lifetime. So you, we know and we have seen, we have heard and we know who she was. And today I invite you to join me as well I will help you to thank God as well as comfort one another in celebrating the life of our sister Patricia Robinson, better known as Mistra. Dear brothers and sisters, during this pandemic, we hear people who have succumbed to it and who have battled well and have come out of it and who have experienced this, this virus being so deadly and we are very much cautious and we, have, we are taking a lot of precautions not to give in to this virus to take our lives. But all those who have experience will tell us how deadly is this virus. And our sister, as you have all said in the tribute and the eulogies, she was most vibrant and a joyful woman. All the time that I have seen her all these years, when I drive through the Pasyas, when I go to Loba, the Pasyas Road, no Avenue, I can see her by our house with the grandchildren. And at times I have seen her at the country in Western, where I could see her was when the church had fundraisings, I would see her coming to dance. And I have seen her in church with a Club 60. When these women Club 60 have their special mass, she would appear, she would be with them. And she's a very quiet woman, as far I have seen, but she's vibrant. She loved her outings. She cherished her outings. And that was her, because nothing would make her sad. She wanted to be all the time happy. A little woman, my dear brothers and sisters, we could think of the times that she suffered of this virus. When I heard that she is in, the, in, in ICU battling, 
One time I on the road, I just checked Nadesh, how is your mom doing? She said, not too bad, she is coming along. But it's not in our hand and she left this world. I think was it last year she buried the daughter or this year? This year. She buried the daughter this year and we saw the granddaughter, how she felt. And it would be hard for a mother to bury the child. The anguish that she would have gone through as a mother to say goodbye. And today the granddaughter felt as well the passing of the grandmother as she lamented, as she cried. And it was painful for her. And death is always painful, brothers and sisters. Death always, always separates us. And death saddens our hearts as well. As we grieve today's word of God, because uh, either life or death, everything belongs to God. And this earthly life is only for a time, for a certain years, like with our sister Patricia, it's only for her 79 years God has given a life on earth. We don't know how, many, how long have God given to each one of us. But it's only for a time. St. Paul, let us the Thessalonians, tells us this tent will be folded up when our life journey to eternal tent made ready for us in heaven. So we need to be thankful to God for God having blessed our sister. As we heard Zephyrinus said, and he had never seen his mother ever be sad. She was always joyful. And I didn't know, know his name was Zephyrinus all the time. And I have seen him all the time. And I did not know Zephyrinus. Because the only Zephyrinus I knew was Zephyrinus Joseph. When they said Zephyrinus, I was looking for which Zephyrinus is that. Then I know this gentleman. And as the sisters told him, he, he did spice it up, but you messed him up. <laughs> as you heard, he, as he heard you all say. As, of course, it's not easy to go through this time, this time of grief. So nobody is strong. Because death gives us, makes us cry. And you know today I said 79 years of life, this beautiful and industrious and vibrant woman, when I heard she had 18 children, I said, wow, 15, 15 children. I said, wow, that's very good. And that's a small village. A big family. If these 15 children come together and, two, and 13 come together, nobody can come to fight with you. Nobody can take your family lightly. That unity is most important. Imagine if these 13 who are alive and their children is a big family. What is most important is to be united. This unity is most important. Peace is most important. Your mother would like to see you all in peace, not in pieces. She would want you, and I'm sure she would have struggled for that, to keep all children. Sometimes, you know, when we grow, we would blame our parents. You like that one the most than myself. You like that sister than me. Of course, that blame, I too have said to my parents that. We all say this, but for parents, all children are the same. And I'm sure for this mother of yours, today the readings as we have heard, the Lord of hosts prepares a great banquet for his people. 
There is no more pain, no more sadness. And the Lord is there at the side of those. And when this earthly life is finished, and we will be part of this banquet. As you grieve for your mother, you can be certain. Because Jesus says, I am going to prepare a place for you. When I have gone and prepared you a place, I will come and take you with me. And Listram, our sister, Patricia, Robinson, be in the company of God. And we have to believe this. We have to believe this in the Lord. Today's second reading. Nothing can come in between us and the love of God. Dear brothers and sisters, nothing should come in between us and the love of God. As Jesus himself tells, love God and love our neighbor. As you are 13 of your siblings and your family, you need to love one another. You need to respect one another. You need to consult one another. Don't get divided. That would not please your mother. That let us not think she is dead, nothing will do to her or nothing will happen to her. As she is not with us, she is in a better place. And she is in a happy place. And we, she is looking down on you. And she is watching over you. And all she would rejoice, all she would make her glad is that as you siblings, brothers and sisters, live in harmony and peace. As you brothers and sisters, would you ever tolerate someone ill-treat your brother or your sister? You would not. And you should not. You should not tolerate that. Either if you don't like your sister or your brother, when someone bad talk about your brother and your sister, don't join them. Don't give them up. But you defend them. Speak for them. And that is where you remain united. That's where you remain, you stand for each other. Today as you say goodbye to your mother, the second reading tells us who can come in between us and the love of God. Likewise, who can come in between and the unity of your siblings, your brothers and sisters. Keep yourselves united. That would gladden your mother who is not with you. That will make your mother happy. So let there be peace and let there be joy. As your mother, as your grandmother, as your aunt, the grand aunt, did not make herself sad. In spite of this, you could imagine raising up these 15 children, how hard it could have been for her. Amidst all this, and I heard as Zephyrinus said, he got, he got licks. Sometimes, and raising 15 children, and had not to give, and it's difficult. How to give? Once in a while. And she remained, and she together nurtured all 15. And today, as you say goodbye, it will pain your heart. It is sad. But comfort yourself, because the Lord blessed her for these 79 years of life, and you have to cherish what she lived the life with. As today, Gospel tells, May she be in the, in, with God, with Jesus. As Jesus says, I will go and prepare you a place. When I have gone and prepared you the place, I will come and take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. May your mother be in the company of saints and angels. As you children, as today's gospel tells, I am the way the truth and the life. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Be united, make peace and stay with God. Pray. Pray as family. Pray as your own family. It is in prayer that you can bring that peace, that, that unity that you want. You need to pray. 
and you need to fear God and grow in harmony with one another and God bless your family and your siblings and friends and family members. May God grant our sister eternal rest. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and in perpetual life. May her soul, may the soul of Patricia Robinson and the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We stand for our prayers. After each prayer, we shall sing. Gracious and merciful God, we pray today for all the church and the leaders, instilling them the wisdom and understanding to draw your people closer to you. May they continue to proclaim your word without any fear or favor and to transform the message of the gospel to your people. Lord, hear us. Almighty and ever living God. Walter. The people are having prayers. Prayer for the government. Almighty and ever living God, we bring to you the throne of grace, the government of our beloved nation, Saint Lucia. Lord, look down upon them in your mercy that they will continue to continue promote life, peace and justice, and work together for the common good. For all citizens of the land, may they continue to govern the country in the pursuit of justice and equality for all. Lord, hear us. Prayer for the family of the deceased. Father Almighty, we offer up the family of Patricia Robinson into your mighty hands. We pray for your courage and strength to cope in the time of grief. May they continue to seek through this time, melt them, mold them, and fill them with your Holy Spirit that they may be true witness of your love. Lord, hear us. Especially Yo pa ni papa, se zot ki la, zot ni pou mette kwa zot ansam, predye ansam, tan pa wol lot, le si yon bagay wi ve zot, zot adan dezagreman, zot adan on chikan, kouye papa bondi, epi predye, paski lista pa la anko, eswe lo ou pa ni maman, C'est là où tu as vu comment tu as eu tout le temps, maman, où tu as fait femme et puis non. 
Mais là où maman et puis papa ou fait mes yeux, ou c'est pas un rien. So, moi, quand j'ai demandé, bon Dieu, force et puis courage pour moi, prédier par tout ce que j'ai dit là. Mais, Lisa, may your soul rest in peace. Amen. Great and mighty physician, we present all the sick and shutting in your humble hands, especially those who are victims of this pandemic. You, O Lord, know them by their names and their ailments. Breathe on them the breath of healing and restore them to good health. Lord, hear us. We pray today for peace, peace among our youth, the nation, and the world. Lord God, as the tools of war increase, we ask that you send your dove of peace to reign over our land and your people. Let your love reclaim all the lives that have turned to sin, so that we shall dwell in harmony. Lord, hear us. Lord God, ever caring and gentle, we commit to you, our beloved mother, grandmother, sister, aunt, cousin, and friend, Patricia Robinson, into your hands. We are grateful for the 79 years that she lived in this life. And so, dear Lord, may you enfold her in your eternal life. We pray for family who are also saddened by the loss. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life that you blessed our sister Patricia Robinson here on this earth for this long 79 years. We thank you for all that you have done for her fatherly care. But today as we grieve the loss, Lord grant comfort to the family, the children, grandchildren, friends and well-wishers who grieve their loss. Grant them your comfort and strength. Lord, may our sister experience that eternal life in the company of saints and angels. In your mercy and compassion, may she cherish the everlasting life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord, Amen. our Father, who Amen. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Please be seated. At this time, we shall have our collection. During the collection, we know that Miss Lista was a nurse, Lawals. And so she will not go without her rose. And so we invite Conrad to sing I Am a Rose during collection. Vive la rose. Chez les parents de Santé la rose. Chez la rose d'amour. Vive la rose. I am a rose. Yes, I am a rose. I am a rose. Yes, I am a rose, I am a rose, yes, I am a rose, when I die, there is me on that road. I am a rose, I am a rose, I am a rose, I am a rose, I am the hand of rose, I am a rose. I am the heart of rose when I die, bury me under the rose. 
And now we shall have the signing of the register. The four witnesses, Ralph Robinson, Mary Robinson, Reginus Robinson, and Lexi Robinson. Could you go to the table to meet Father? And during this time, we shall listen to a special rendition which will be done by your grandson. I was dodging a song, but then I have to sing it. Okay. During this time, we shall sing Beneath the Lonely Mound of Clay. Beside a new made grave, heart broken, my love for her won't let me go away. And leave her there to sleep forever All alone beneath the lonely mound of clay Oh Lord, why did you take her from me? Why didn't you take me away? There beside her, all alone beneath that lonely mound of clay. Many times I look toward heaven and pray she wouldn't be taken away. But this sinner's prayer is never answered. So she's sleeping beneath the lonely mound of clay. Oh Lord, why did you take her from me? Why didn't you take me away? That lonely mound of clay. I stare right there beside you, darling, and I promise I will never go away until my life down here is over. Tell me we. Mount of play. Oh Lord, why did you 
take her from me why didn't you take me away so i could have been there beside her all alone beneath that lonely mound of clay And so we all stand for the blessing. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister, Patricia Robinson, to be buried in the human imperfection. Let's pray with confidence to God, who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection of the company of saints. May God give her merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may she be happy forever with all the saints in the present of the eternal King. During the blessing we shall sing medals for mothers. I dream mother walked the, the heavenly stairs and medals for mother were given up there. They mentioned the million they formed it for me. Things I took for granted. Family, you could gather around the body. Everyone, a medal of honor was pinned on her hair. A medal of patience and kind love and care. A medal for duty. One up above, but the biggest of all was the one for her love. If there's mad love for my Responds, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. 
receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid, come to meet her angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive her souls and present her to God the Most High. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on her forever. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our sister, Patricia Robinson. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings which you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Welcome our sister Patricia to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Patricia Robinson, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. And as we seek our sister to the final resting place, one notice, parishioners, mass tomorrow is at 6 a.m. and at 10 a.m. There are two masses, 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. Our recessional hymn, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the saved of hope shall gather over on the other shore And the road is called up yonder I'll be there When the road is called up yonder When the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection shall when the chosen ones shall gather to their own beyond the sky, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the world is full of yonder, I'll be there. When the road is gone up yonder, when the road is gone up When the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Oh, yeah.
had to go So suddenly, so fast How could it be Not a straight memory Worthy of All that we had made Now that you're gone Well, 
Mr. Robinson has gone to her rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist her with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our sister. Together, may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. Come, you are blessed by my Father, says the Lord. 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Would you please not compete with me, gentlemen? Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our sister may rest here in peace until you awaken her to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God. For you live and reign forever and ever. May Almighty God bless the resting place of Lister. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our sister Patricia Lister from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. So, let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Patricia Lister. Do not count her deeds against her, for in her heart she desired to do your will. As her faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads for God's blessings. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us all go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs> That's it. You may proceed.
Pardon, Flavio. Va le bon childhood room when you're home for a long weekend Everything's the same but it all feels different I remember when I used to Know that I was safe next to you Now I'm standing in the same place And I don't feel anything at all Cause letting go Let's 
funny how we feel so much But we cannot say a word We are screaming inside But we can't be heard I will remember you Will you remember me?
If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you made of gold And when you get there There's a hand to hold I believe When your day's down here or through There's a place up there For people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve Someone could be saved There's a place For people like you I've heard up there The streets are made of gold And when you get there There's a hand to hold I believe When your day's down here or through There's a place out there for people like you Happiness far 
too beautiful for this Cross over to the other shore There is peace forevermore But hold this memory bittersweet Until we meet Fly, fly, do not fear
heaven's love Past the planets and the stars Leave this lonely world of ours